Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Outer Rim Cantina. My name's Alan, and today I'm here to give you a rundown of the brand new update that dropped for Star Wars Battlefront 2 on Monday. This update adds lots of great new things to the game, as well as some much needed bug fixes and hero reworks. I'm not going to cover everything that was added with the update in this video. If you want a complete list of the patch notes and community transmission, you can follow the link in the description. Starting off with the biggest things added to the game, two brand new droids from the sequel trilogy era, BB-8 and BB-9E as heroes. The brand new droid heroes offer a unique playstyle from both the Saber and Blaster heroes currently in the game. BB-8 is more suited for an offensive playstyle on the light side, while BB-9E is more suited for a support role on the dark side. BB-8 has three new active abilities as well as three passive abilities that work on their own without the need for star cards. Starting with the active abilities, the first of which is Resistance Backing, unveils enemies around him. Not only will they be revealed, they will also be more vulnerable to attacks, taking slightly increased damage. Any enemies revealed by Resistance Backing will also have their radar corrupted. The second of BB-8's abilities is called Cable Spin, where BB-8 will begin to rotate, extending three tow cables, hitting all enemies around him and causing high damage. The third and final active ability is Rolling Charge. BB-8 will roll much faster than normal, head first. When he bumps into an enemy, he extends his head, damaging and pushing them back, which acts kind of like Solo's shoulder charge. As for his passive abilities, one is called Technical Support. BB-8 will count as two units when capturing a command post, and activating an objective device is much faster. The second is Swift Reaction. BB-8 increases the cooldown speed of nearby friendly characters' abilities. The third and final passive ability is Health on Kill, just like the other heroes already in the game. As for BB-9E, as stated before, his abilities are mostly tailored to a support role. The first of those abilities is called Smokescreen, where, much like Lando, BB-9E releases a dense smoke all around him, which helps him disappear on dark maps and also reveals enemies around him for a short time. The second ability is called Charge Up, where BB-9E will supercharge his shock prod as well as send nearby friendly blasters into a super cooling success state for a short period of time. His third and final active ability is called Shock Spin, where BB-9E spins around himself, unleashing an electric shock from all sides as well as pushing enemies back and overheating enemy blasters. As for his passive abilities, Technical Support and Health on Kill are the same as his light side counterpart, but instead of reducing the cooldown of allies' abilities, BB-9E will periodically heal friendly players' base health. The two droids are playable for free right now in the game, and I highly recommend checking them out for yourself, as they do offer quite a unique experience when it comes to hero gameplay. As far as emotes and victory poses are concerned, if you want to unlock them, you need to earn certain amounts of score by playing both characters to unlock all the emotes and victory poses. And speaking of emotes, Finn and Kylo Ren have two brand new emotes which can be unlocked through challenges as well. The other big addition with this update is sequel trilogy maps to Capital Supremacy, which has been renamed Supremacy, with the recent announcement of the Death Star 2, as well as Scarif, the most requested map to date, coming to the game mode in the near future. Both original trilogy era maps will have ground combat only without a capital ship phase, hence changing the name to just Supremacy. Going back to the sequel trilogy, Jakku, Takodana, and Agent Kloss have all been added as planets for Supremacy, as well as the MC-85 cruiser for the Resistance, and the Resurgent Star Destroyer for the First Order. With the addition of sequel trilogy locations to Supremacy, an air selector has been added in the menu to select either the sequel or prequel era maps. If you want a combination of eras, you can still search for a game through the front end tile and get placed in a random map. Those are all the major additions to the game added with the BB update. If you want a full rundown of all the hero, gameplay, and quality of life changes, you can find the patch notes linked in the description. The update is free for all current Battlefront 2 players, so if you've been thinking about either buying the game or picking it up again after not playing it for a while, now is definitely the time, with the expansion of the Supremacy Mode into the sequel trilogy, two brand new and unique heroes, and Scarif and more original trilogy content on the horizon. That's all the time I've got for today. If you enjoyed this, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like on the video, as those really do help a small channel like this, and consider subscribing if you want more Outer Rim Cantina content in your subscription feeds every week. 
I hope to see you back here on Thursday for another Star Wars video. Until then, may the Force be with you.